Hey guys, it's Conrad. So, I really feel there's a way to do this, and I really feel it has to be done. I'm talking, of course, about the audio video medium that we're all carrying around in our pockets every day. As many of you know, I've been doing podcasts for many years, and I really felt that I needed a new type of platform, one where I could explore audio, both to express myself and in conversation with others, and at the same time, explore video, a medium that you know many people say will be the majority of our media intake uh, in the years to come. So, welcome to my journal, the Conrad Olson Journal. On this show, you will hear me speak about topics that I've been thinking about and pondering during the week. And most likely, you will also hear me every week speaking to a person from my network. So, a few minutes, maybe 15, maybe 20 of me in the beginning, and then a longer interview with someone that I really want to talk to about these subjects. So why am I doing this? Well, I think there are three main reasons. One is experiment. Now, I love communicating. I love, as many of you know, doing magazines. But ever since I started my own magazine when I was 17 back in Umeå where I come from I also loved sort of self-publishing myself and uh, even though I'm a print guy at heart I always love new forms of communication I started blogging back in 2015 feels like a lifetime ago now I've been on all the new digital platforms and uh, one of the reasons I'm I want to do video is because I want to explore TikTok, a new form of communication that even though it started out as a sort of dance meme medium for teenagers, I think will take over a lot of our attention in the years to come. Um, so, and there's just so much happening right now with this format. Um, the past few weeks, past couple of months during the coronavirus crisis, I really felt like the internet started talking to me. More specifically, Instagram, where I have a great community of people within media and fashion and design and all these fields. And as soon as people started being locked up at home, they started broadcasting from their homes, which is a really exciting and interesting evolution. Every time I pull up my phone at you know five or six o'clock at night, there are about 10 to 15 live streams going on. Um, and I've been on a few myself. Uh, you will see me on some in the weeks to come. I'll be on the gear show on uh, Thursday, uh, uh, May 7th, I think that is. So there's something exciting about this and I really felt like I needed to implement this format in my life um, in a recurring way so that I know every week I have this platform to go from. So an interview with someone from my network and me talking like this. Second reason is I'm in a kind of a transition with my own brand right now. Obviously, me and my company, Scandinavian Man, has been hit by Corona like many others. And we've taken some time to reflect upon the future of our brand. Um, but it also means it's we, we've, we've uh, slowed down a little bit on our publishing uh, of content. Um, especially the podcast just ended a, a spring season of the Innovators podcast. 
uh, we will start resuming our podcasting as soon as we feel uh, we can gain momentum. Um, but there's also a time for us to really stake out the future and uh, find a new type of roadmap for what, what we want to do. And there's a lot of work going on uh, behind the scenes and I'm super happy to share with you as soon as I can. And perhaps this format could be a great way of sharing that, sharing some of the ideas behind uh, a new direction for the brand. So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, and um, in this, you know, if I don't have the podcast on Scandinavian Man, it's <laughs> kind of uh, natural that I try to find other ways to uh, publish myself. So enter the Conrad Olson journal. The third reason is I really feel there are things I need to say and there are discussions to be had around topics that I'm excited about. And um, in many ways, I'm a writer at heart. I feel like that's the core medium. That's where I started and that's uh, where I feel most at home. But increasingly, it's been this audio medium, like me talking or me leading um, panel discussions or doing podcasts and uh, uh, even just uh, um, running a brand and speaking to my um, co-workers and, and, and contributors, uh, you know, almost without m my thinking about it, audio has become probably my primary medium. Um, I think it's also a way, uh, <laughs> I was talking to Jeremy Kirkland of the Blammo podcast about this and uh, I hope that show is going to be out um, uh, soon as well, I think this week or the next, about how audio almost feels like cheating. If you're a writer, audio feels like cheating because I'm just sitting here talking. Now, I've done some notes, I've been thinking about what I should say, but I haven't really taken the time to sit down and, you know, craft out every word, every sentence. I think also if you're a parent of a young child and have a family to run, uh, sitting down and doing blogs and communicating and uh, written form is time consuming in a way that's hard to uh, uh, find the time for in your life. So uh, my hope is I get momentum enough with this podcast, this show, that I can sit down and just talk it out. Uh, it won't take more than 30 minutes of my day. So on that note, I also feel like I need to pivot my own persona, if you will. Sounds a bit pretentious, but I know that I'm perceived as a journalist and editor within fashion and design, and rightfully so. It's been the uh, it's been the core of my journalistic. Um, career for the past 15 years. But that's not really what excites me the most right now. What excites me the most right now is this technological development that we're seeing. This era of exponential growth in new technologies and new opportunities. And one of the things I really wanted to use this format and also down the line uh, Scandinavian man for is to explore this topic. There's so much happening in terms of new technologies, new ways that we as consumers are uh, consuming content, consuming fashion, consuming design, um, all these things which are so important for our identities. And then there's the, of course, the issue of sustainability, which is something I really, really want to take seriously also in the time to come. Um, just look at the world of fashion. We have an industry which produces 150 billion garments each year, a third of which was, is never reached 
reaches the consumer and uh, only 1% of what is consumed is being recycled. It's such a huge challenge and problem or issue that doesn't have one simple solution. So my way of tackling it is by talking about it and talking about it with the people who knows the most about this subject. And um, this is something I really want to explore on this podcast. Um, I guess there is could be much to say, but I think perhaps this is a good start. You will find this podcast, this show, this talk show, I don't know the definitions anymore, this piece of content uh, published on many different platforms. And that's also one of the main reasons I want to have this show is to experiment so I can implement formats and ideas for my, my brand later on. So I will publish this video on Instagram, Instagram TV and YouTube. We'll probably, I will probably chop it up into uh, shorter formats, shorter bits and pieces for Instagram stories and TikTok. And it, you will be able to listen to this in audio format on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud and a few other arenas. I haven't uh, made it yet to Acast. Um, I'm sure that will come. Uh, some of you who has followed my old show with my brother, uh, the Olsen Brothers podcast, will recognize that this show pops up in your subscription feed as I'm using the same account. I'm just renaming it. Um, speaking about my brother, I, uh, I will look forward to having him on as a guest on this show. So... Uh, he won't uh, escape the podcast format in the future. So Joachim, i um, looking forward to having you on. My guest today is Robert Spangle, a world-class photographer, street style and fashion photographer, uh, menswear designer and entrepreneur, founder of the Observer Collection, a, a collection of uh, accessories, bags, and eventually um, garments that's focused on aimed at the traveling professional. I've known Robert for many years, I think six years now. We've been collaborating um, around street style photography. I've been commissioning several jobs to him. Uh, our first job <laughs> when he was a young, young guy, I'm not, I think he's about 10 years younger than me or something, born at the end of the 80s. I forgot to ask him about that in the interview. Uh, the first the first job we did was uh, I commissioned him as an event photographer for the very first Plaza Uomo party in Florence that we held back in 2014, a party that has since become a staple and a and a recurring event of of some magnitude during the Pitti Uomo fair in Florence. Robert shot that party, but tragically lost all the photos. So. Uh, perhaps speaks to the legend status of that first event uh, was not documented. Anyways, we managed to, to stay connected, of course, become friends. Um, Robert has worked with some of the biggest magazines uh, in the world. Uh, but I really want to talk to him about his way of tackling social media. Robert is also an ex-Marine. He has a lot of ideas and experiences with tactics and preparation. That's super interesting. And he uses his social feed, the particularly Instagram stories to uh, inspire and share ideas and, and experiences on packing, uh, preparation. Uh, you know, in, in, his, in his case, it's a lot about, you know, doing photo assignments and traveling around the world. Um, but there are lessons learned for everyone, I think, when it comes to his way of tackling the day and, and tackling preparation. Uh, it was kind of a unique situation talking to him when he's been at home for five weeks. Usually I see him as a, you know, one of the, the guys roaming the earth for the next assignments. And he said that 
Uh, this is the longest time he's been at home since he was 17. Anyway, this was a great conversation. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, for those of you who listen to this on audio, you will hear the interview uh, right after this. And I think for video, I would probably publish it in a, as a separate uh, piece of content on YouTube and Instagram. Anyways, thank you so much for checking in. I look forward to be exploring this format together with you guys uh, in the weeks and months and probably hopefully years to come. Um, as always, you can find me on Instagram at Conrad Olson. Uh, DM me there or send me an email. Um, if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. And um, especially now in the beginning when I'm testing this out, what works, what didn't work, uh, let me know. Um, also, I'm on LinkedIn and a few other platforms, of course, if you want to connect with me there. Um, it's a beautiful day in Stockholm. Sun is shining and there's much to be thankful for. Uh, so don't remember to be thankful for what you got. And I really hope you guys are all right, wherever you are. Let's stay connected. Uh, we can pull through. Here now, my conversation with Robert Spangle.